because of Berea, I have been able to be a, have a successful career and to make a difference, not only in my own community, but I, I hope globally because I see students that I've met over the years who say, you made a difference in my life, and thank you so very much. Because of Berea, I have been able to fulfill my mission in life. I feel that we have been born for a purpose, and I think that having gone there, that it has just, it blossomed in me. I think I was already kind of on the, on the path for it, like I said. But at the same time, Berea just, just opened the door. But Mama always valued education. Um, she was, um, she wasn't one who, who followed the normal path. I don't know exactly why, but when Aunt Sarah went ahead and got married early, Mama didn't. Um, she wanted to go to school. And uh, when Daddy asked her to marry the first time, she told him no. <laughs> she wanted to go to school. So uh, he convinced her and he convinced Grandma that um, he would make sure that she got to go to school. And um, so she held on to that hope and that dream for years. After seven of us um, in 1975, uh, when I came out of high school, she um, received her associate's degree in early childhood. So. Um, Mama and Daddy both were always um, very firm on education. Our parents were grateful to Berea for giving our, their children the opportunity to come to Berea and get an education. And the appreciation that we all have for, one, that opportunity that our parents made sure that we have, two, the opportunity that Berea gave us and the experiences and not only uh, the classroom, but also to be able to lead in different organizations. The people who truly believed in us and invested in us, who, who cared about us, who care about us today still, the long-standing relationships. Part of it is um, the liberal arts education where, um, you know, I didn't go in just to be a this. And I had the opportunity to explore lots of different things and uh, make a choice as to what I wanted to be. We had common opportunities. We all had the opportunity you know, for piano, for being in the choir, or for doing different things. But it was up to us how we, um, how we use that, and whether it, what it meant to Anne, it may not mean to me, or it meant to Sue or Willene, you know, so we were able to be individuals, and that, that has been good. We haven't had to chase after being like the other one. You know, we could develop and, and kind of discern and figure out, well, who are we? Because when you're one of seven, a lot of times you're a group. And it takes a little bit of doing, I think, to be reminded that you are individual. You have um, a right to your own ideas, but you also have the responsibility to think about that and to determine and then to see where it fits with somebody else and help them on what they're doing. Maria has such a rich legacy that has been passed down to, to us. And where, wherever you come from, whatever you, your past experience has been, you can... Um, Maria, Maria is so equipped to enrich your life, to help you to grow, to help you to be successful. Um, that you can take those things that you learn at Berea and uh, the values, the commitments that are part of what we do there, uh, and you live them. I would say the exposure to different things. Um, there's been times recently that I was feeling like my mother <laughs> in describing certain things that happened when I was at Berea, um, like when the Dalai Lama came for a convocation and we got to do a meditation session with some of the monks that he interacts with. And out of all the meditations I've ever done, yoga or whatever, 
That was the most um, out of body experience. I said, who gets to say that? Oh, I got to sit with the monks, the Dalai Lama. Nobody, <laughs> you know? And it's hard to believe, it really is hard to believe. Or, you know, saying, oh, well, I got to sing for the Pope in Rome. At that point, people are saying, now you're just making things up. <laughs> because now it's just extreme. How did you do this while you were in college? You know, how did you work like you said you did and you had all these classes, but yet you got to meet all these really interesting people? When you're here as a student, I don't think you really realize until you leave what you have. And knowing that Berea is one of the most recognized educational institutions in the nation, and that you have the opportunity to get that education through the generous gifts of other people, and that people continue to give to Berea to continue to give that opportunity to others. That is something that you can't thank people enough for and be grateful enough for. That idea of, you know, whatever it takes to educate the students who need it, who might not have the ability to do it on their own or their parents don't know how to do it, I think that really resonates with me. And that's the way I, I feel like any time that I can suggest Berea to a student, um, there's a girl at our church right now who has very limited means. And so I said, well, you know, consider Berea. You know, there's people there who will help you if you feel like you're not quite strong in this area. So I kind of gave her the story, and I feel like that's kind of leading the legacy of what my dad did to kind of get people into Berea and to keep going throughout Berea. So I actually know that several of those students who are now graduates, that's one of the things that they always tell my mom. Like, you know, I don't know what I've done if Mr. Jones wouldn't take me to Berea, because that changed my life. Because of Berea, I do have a degree, and, and I count myself very fortunate, um, because uh, like my sister said, um, we did not have a lot, um, and when Willene went, um, she kind of opened the door and, and laid the groundwork, and then with Sue following, um, we knew there was an opportunity and that we could do this. I think I have a better, I have an expansive outlook on life, on the different um, ideas, different um, opinions that people have, different ways of life, different cultures. Berea is important in this world because it is a beacon. It is a light shining in darkness. If you can see the light, maybe you're not able to see the light, but if you can, it is, it's there, it's open. And I see it as a guide as a path, as a direction, as a way. And then from there, go out, do your work, do your service.